great day of okay. V. Russell Hussain. Good morning. Good morning. Really fantastic performance. Thank you very much. Uh, how long have you been playing and singing? Uh, I've been playing guitar since I was about six years old. I'm 23 now. Oh, so, so a long time. Enough. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I've been singing since I was about 12. You know, Kyrie was saying that he wishes he can play the guitar because that's yeah. finally something that he's not <laughs> good at. <so laughs> yeah, I, I can't finally. play an instrument. I can't play an instrument. Really? Yeah. So I, I, I love, love the guitar. Do you do lessons? Do you, do you give lessons? Um, I'm trying to, you know, experiment giving lessons. I had my f gave my first lesson this, this Saturday gone actually. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so it's brand spanking. Bra <laughs> <laughs> Carrie? Yeah, I, I think we need to talk. I think we need to talk. <laughs> I'm always wanting to learn guitar. I, I hope I, I wouldn't suck at it. <laughs> I mean, well, hopefully. Practice, practice hopefully. is all you need. Practice. I've always wanted to do it as well, but it's not something that I ever came around to doing. But you've been doing fantastic, it seems. Um, tell me about your c career um, over the years and how it has gone for you. Um, well, it was, I think I was raised thinking that I should get a degree and do something practical that will make money and give me a future a guaranteed future. Um, and it was when I was about 16, I kind of fought for the chance to go and study music and make it my profession, my career. So I went away to school and studied audio engineering and music business and songwriting and performance in Toronto over three years. Mm -hmm. And um, I started performing in Toronto, doing some open mics and doing some festivals and stuff, small festivals like a winter folk fest. And um, then when I came home, I did some cover band stuff, you know, like with uh, just friends who liked, we liked the same kind of music. So we did some cover band stuff at like Shakers and Toppers when it was around. And then I started, I like, so I'm a solo artist. Mm -hmm. Preferably, I like to be on stage by myself doing my own thing with my guitar. So um, I started doing solo shows, still a lot of open mics, like True Talk No Lie, which is a great event that I fully support. Um, and very recently, this year, I've started putting on my own shows. Um, May, the beginning of May this year, I did my first tonic sessions with Ray at Kaiser Blues, which is really a chance for me to show people what I've been working on, but a chance to show people also who my favorite local artists are, all the young and upcoming talent that don't get a chance to get on stage often. I get them on stage and some exposure. Who is your favorite local artist? That's <laughs> well, right now, I have to say, <coughs> I have never been, like, I've never really been a fan of Calypso and Soka. So my local oh. artists, uh, I love um, Next Chapter, who's performing at my show this week, and uh, Freetown Collective. I think they're awesome. Yeah, they yeah. are awesome, <laughs> definitely. Mm. We, we've had them here a couple of times. Yeah. As always, always an amazing performance. Yeah. They're great. So w tell me about the show that you're having. Um, it's... Kaiser Blues Cafe, as I said, on Wrightson Road. Um, I have a young boy named, a young man, I should say, named Varen Neal, who I met earlier this year at one of my friend's shows. And he's, when you see him, you won't expect the voice that comes out of him to what come out of What type of music him. does he do? He loves, like, old classics. He just did a cover of Yesterday by the Beatles. He, like, uh, his taste is impressive, <laughs> to uh <-huh>. say the <laughs> least. Um, and I just, I heard him sing, and I was like, this boy deserves some some stage time. So he's performing, next chapter's performing, and then I'm ending off the show with maybe an hour. We'll see how much I can handle. Okay. <laughs> A mm -hmm. set of mostly original music. Um, I'm going to do one cover by Freetown, but the rest of it is original. Originality is key, you know. Yeah. That is, for me, that is where, you know, you would actually stamp your name and say, this is who I am and exactly. this is what I can do. So yeah. where and can you have an, ami an amazing voice. Yeah, yeah. thank so you yeah. very much. So <laughs> definitely can carry your lyrics <laughs> you. with your voice, yeah. Um, where can people find your music, go follow you for um, your information? You can follow me on Instagram at Ray Loves Pie. That's Ray R Loves Pie? <laughs> I love that Instagram <laughs> handle already. Ray Loves Pie. R A E, <laughs> Ray Loves Pie. Um, and like that's, that's where I'm most active. I'm uh -huh. working on a current, I'm currently working on a project. I need to find a producer that I, that I get along with. Um, mm. To help me record because I have a lot of original music that I need to record. I have an EP on SoundCloud that I released a couple of years ago um, called Extended Play. Very creative, original. <laughs> mm, interesting. I have to check that out. Yes, and that's just under my name. If you type in Ray Extended Play, you'll find it. Okay. Yeah. That's something to look forward to. I want to wish yeah. you all the very best. Thank um, you very uh, much. We have to take a break, and I would like to ask you to play some of your music to take us to the break. Thank you very much. Mm. 
Excuse me. 